All right, players, we back in business. I got my green screen back, baby. I was tired of being big as hell all up in the camera. Y'all go ahead and grab your tea and have a seat. Let's talk about Ken Paxton, honey, because things just got a little rougher for the Texas Attorney General. Grab that tea. So, like I told you yesterday, Ken Paxton has definitely slid down a razor blade and landed in an alcohol river, honey, because Texas lawmakers have recommended impeaching his ass after the Republican investigation. Oh, yes, 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 honey, it's true, and it was a unanimous decision. A Republican-led House Investigative Committee recommended that uh, Ken Paxton be impeached. Now, they didn't tell us what impeachment articles they was going to be using, but honey, I'm ready for the shenanigans. So, as we know, honey, Ken Paxton has a smorgasbord of legal troubles ahead of him, honey. In fact, he's still being investigated by the FBI, but back in January, when that whistleblower lawsuit was settled for $3.3 million and Ken Paxton requested that that money come from the state of Texas, Republican lawmakers said, hell no, to the no, no, no. So they launched an investigation into the legal troubles that Ken Paxton has been having. And yesterday, they held a hearing in which they... <laughs> found out a lot of things about Ken Paxton. Most of it was publicly known, but some of it, honey, they wanted to put it out in the atmosphere. And they did that, and now they have recommended impeachment against Ken Paxton. And baby, when I tell you that the staff in the Fish Eyed Foods office is pissed to the highest level of pissivity, honey, because they know that if Ken Paxton is out of the job, they ass is going to be out of the job. So they came down there to voice their disgust and disdain with this entire investigative process. It was filled with falsehoods and misrepresentations, and they have never reached out to our office to determine whether anything that was contained in that testimony yesterday was remotely true. The process here has been completely lacking. They deserve to hear, the people deserve to hear from this office in the context of this investigation. Furthermore, this is an illegal investigation. Any discussion of impeachment is completely foreclosed by Texas law. Texas Government Code 665.081 says clearly that any um, proposed impeachment can only be about conduct since the most recent election. The voters have spoken. They want Ken Paxton. The voters want Ken Paxton. And this committee, by investigating him, by not allowing us to be heard here today, by never reaching out to us at any time during this investigative process, is trying to thwart the will of the voters. Baby, he was so upset to the highest level of upsetness, honey, that he was spitting all over the place. I, I know that's why they was backing up. So only two officials in Texas have been impeached in their nearly 200-year history. Now, in Texas, the impeachment requires a majority vote, and the state's 150-member House chamber is controlled by the Republicans. That's 85 Republicans and 64 Democrats. It's unclear how many supporters Ken Paxton may have in the House, but none of the Texas top Republicans have voiced support for Ken Paxton. That's why the fish-eyed fool Ken Paxton was trying to get rid of House Speaker Dade Feeling the other day. But baby, that just may backfire on his ass. Well, unlike Congress, if Ken Paxton is impeached, honey, he will be immediately removed from office until a trial is held in the Senate. And Applehead Abbott would have to appoint an interim replacement. So basically, the fish-eyed fool Ken Paxton thought that the Republicans were just going to pay that $3.3 million all willy-nilly and not do an investigation. Well, honey, the devil is alive because they did that and now you may just be impeached players put your thoughts in the comments